Hello everybody and welcome to a new walkthrough of Mega Man. Yeah, um, remember that video that I uploaded on YouTube a couple of... Uh, well, actually I think it's a week ago or something like that. That was a Mega Man Marathon on the Ustream. Well, actually that was the promotion of me buying finally Mega Man 10. And yeah, I finally did it on the playthrough. And I didn't do that bad. Actually, that's what many people actually told me, but... Well, actually, today I'm going to start it to uh, record it on, uh, yeah, for YouTube, and, well, you know that my Wii screen is Dutch and all, so please ignore that. Anyway, this is going to be a walkthrough slash playthrough slash whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Anyway, we see here the list of all the Mega Man games, and in 2010, Mega Man 10 came out. Wow, isn't that amazing? And, of course, in every Mega Man game, you have a storyline, well, except for Mega Man 3. Shit. I'm home! Ah, oh, you can hear it, background music double now, that's an echo, we don't like that. Sorry for that. <clears throat> I don't know, I think I have a fever! A robot with a fever? Oh no, Roll! <gasps> no! I think Roll has come down with Rubenza, Roboenza, or whatever you want to call it. That's a terrible voice for Dr. Light. From what I can tell, the virus only affects robots. You all need to be careful. Yeah, and you can see in this picture Mega Man worried about Roll and uh... Oh well. In a year of, oh we don't give a crap anymore, 2000XX and then it's 2000X. We don't care anymore about the year. Anyway. A new robot illness, Roboenza has begun to spread rapidly around the world, causing robots to malfunction. And this is the same background, well, slightly the same background as in Mega Man 2. Many humans find it impossible to complete even simple tasks without their robots. Yeah, I hope that I'm saying that correctly. Oh, they're robot helpers, whatever. And without robot assistance, no one can. Ah, uh, seriously, this is the, the 10 Mega Man already develop a proper cure. I mean, please put the dialogue in, you know, that you can actually read line for line and not stopping in one line. A month following the outbreak, the situation worsens. Like that! That's perfect! And we're going to scroll up. Oh no. <clears throat> the infected robots turn violent and attempt to take over the world. Of course! Yeah. Since I watched the Nostalgic Critic, help! I put that sound in too. Why it's funny. What? Is that Dr. Wily's ship? One of those infected robots went crazy and uh, attacked me. I've spent the last few days studying this Roboenza. see this, but even my genius was unable to find a cure. Okay. So I built a machine that would help me discover the key to da -da 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 -da, the falling, developing a cure, but it was stolen by one of those da -da 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 -da, demented robots. Yes, yeah, seriously, I have to... <clears throat> I beg you like I did nine times already. You have to help me get my medicine-making machine back. <sighs> I suppose I, if you want to stop this robot, this was going to way too fast. We'll have to help you. Leave it to me. I'm on it. I'll stop those robots. But still, I'll find Dr. Wily's medicine-making machine and then we can cure Roll and all the others, robots. Whatever. I don't think you'll be able to do this alone, Mega Man. Yeah, I fill up the holes now. I appreciate any help, Proto Man, especially from you. Let's do this! 
Vegeta, and here you see this wonderful action picture. I love it. Mega Man 10. On the Wii. Well, we're just going to game start, new game, and we're playing as Mega Man. On just normal mode, and we have, of course, eight new robot masters. We have Blade Man, Solo Man, Sheep Man, Commando Man, Pump Man, Strike Man, Nitro Man, and Chill Man. Chill out, cool eyes, whatever. Anyway, many people actually start off with Sheep Man, and in my marathon, I'm going to link very much back to my marathon. I started with Sheep Man, but I don't think that Sheep Man is actually the easiest one. Commando Man is, uh, has a very helpful item, but I really don't like actually for going after that in the start. Many people actually said that Blade Man was the hardest one, but I think he's the easiest one. So we're just going to start with Blade Man. I mean, he looks awesome. His weapon is awesome too. But later about that, later in later episodes. Ready, of course, here we go. So you start off with Mega Man, and at the same line in Mega Man 9, you can shower there. You can charge up your Mega Buster and you can't slide. No, oh, Proto Man, ouchie. As that actually that yeah, you know. Anyway, the level well Blake Man up apparently chooses to be in a castle. Anyway, ouch, ouch, ouch. <sighs> Those are those walls where I was talking about that you actually need Commando Man's weapon for, but oh well, I don't feel like getting it right now. So let's get on to our old good pal Rush, because ouch. <coughs> yeah, I'm taking ridiculous hits, sorry about that. Uh, and we're going down. Um, as you can see, I was collecting the screws that you saw there in the beginning, and yeah, this has the same thing as Mega Man 9. Uh, you can buy stuff with buying those ball screws, whatever you want to call them. And this platform here, it can be a little tricky. I mean, it helps you cross over the spikes. I mean, yeah, you can easily jump over them, but definitely, you really want to use this. And, well... If you wait too long, actually, then... Ooh, that was actually some skilled shooting there again. Anyway, if you take too long for jumping to the next platform, then you will have the problem that you will take damage or... Take damage? No, then actually that thing will scroll back. Yeah, you see the arrow changing, Whee! and it's going away. So, this is not really the first boss. This is actually one of the semi-bosses that can actually be kind of a meanies. I normally destroy always the... Ouch. <sighs> yeah, the middle one first. Damn it! I'm doing a terrible job already. Yeah, yeah, ouch. Even the eyeballs hurt you. And this can actually be a kind of a problem. Now I understand why they say that... Uh... Well, actually the robot master is not the hardest one. I think that... Uh... Well, the stage can be pretty hard, but... <laughs> I really am not going to die in the beginning already. Anyway, you see this flag pop up, but... Well... Let's just let it explode, because we don't take any hostages. We just want to get rid of everything. Leave no... whatevers. Anyway, here we have our awesome spiders again that are kicking my ass here that I don't like. Huh. Yeah, I know I'm taking a lot of damage, but seriously, this is my second playthrough of the game, so I hope you can't blame me for making really stupid mistakes and all. And I'm not kidding, this is really the second time that I'm playing this game. So, yeah, the first one time was on Ustream, then I was playing Paper Mario because I promised a playthrough of that, and I know it took a long while since I uploaded any videos again, and that was just completely stupid. No, but I know that it took a long time since I was uploading again, but sorry about that. Um, yeah, so basically I was kind of busy and there was a power-up that I definitely could use, but oh well. Ooh. Yeah, those guys can actually be kind of annoying because they can pop up everywhere. And this is a difficult jump and I did it without any problems. Ugh. Seriously, low ceilings are dangerous around here. Danger, danger, and more danger. Oh. Uh, anyway, there we see a W tank. Uh, I never saw a W tank before. But, yeah, I know what it does, of course. Um, it's a weapon refill. Ouch. It's a weapon refill tank. It will 
fully restore one of your weapons, so... Yeah, it's really handy. Anyway, as you just saw me doing that earlier already, if you missed it, you can scroll back, but... If you saw me doing that already, this game finally copies the good things of Mega Man 8. Scrolling between your weapons without going to the pause menu screen. And this one can actually be kind of tricky. Yeah, I'm talking now over the jumping here. Because if you jump high, too high actually, yeah, those spikes really hurt, you know. They, those spikes really can kill you. So be careful for that. Nah, I don't need that weapon energy. Because we are at the boss place and I really have to cut the video here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, stay tuned for the next episode to uh, watch my show off against Blade Man. Stay tuned.